Hey guys, Jake here going through some of the basics of Objective C. Now, today I want to run through just the importance of commenting. In the previous tutorials, I know I did just a brief, hey, this is how to do it. You, you know, mess with this, mess with that. But uh, commenting in Xcode is just like commenting in any other programming language. The more you comment, the easier it is to come back and realize, oh, okay, that's, that's what I did here. This is where this part of the code is located. And uh, like when you open a, a template similar to this one here where it already has a comment that says, hey, insert code here. If we were to you know, close this application, close Xcode, come back, and uh, jump straight back into coding, you know, they would, it would be easy to go, okay, I gotta insert some code here. This is where, uh, this is where you put the code. Um, so right now when we're doing some of these basic stuff where we uh, only have three lines of code or so that we've inserted, you know, not a big deal, but you know, it'll grow exponentially as you have 10, 15, 50, 100 lines of code. And you need to make sure you know where it is. So if you do have problems, you can go back to it and uh, diagnose those problems and fix them. All right, so commenting. We've got the basic. In Xcode, the comments are green, as you can see here. Of the top, you can see some more commented out material. And uh, it all starts with the uh, two forward slashes. So anytime you put two forward slashes, it comments out that entire line. And so you can see our NS log now is commented out, therefore it will not print, and uh, the equations will not show up below. So anything commented does not doesn't really affect anything else. So you could write anything comment out. Uh, hey, this is is JJ, and uh, if you ran it, you're still gonna get our NS log and nothing else below. So uh, one of the other things with commenting is let's say you know this is kind of the old school way of debugging a program. If you uh, if you had an error here, let's say, let's just copy this whole section here and duplicate it down here. Let's say, uh, and you'll see why Xcode kind of helps with debugging nowadays. But let's say you were to take out that semicolon, which won't complete this NS log here. This one will still run, but this one won't. And you run it, and man, you're like, oh, I gotta fail. I gotta build fail how how am I ever gonna figure this out well again Xcode makes it easy they kinda points points you to where there is but the old school programming you would use they would called out commenting which you would out comment what your what part of the code and see what else works so in this case we know that uh, this works so then you'd go back and you'd out comment another part of your program and you'd see okay I know it's within this line of uh, code here. I'm going to go ahead and diagnose it. So that's kind of the basics there of uh, why it's important. Again, you've got the double forward slash is one way to comment. The other way, if you're doing multiple lines, is actually a forward slash asterisk. And this is going to be a block of text. And to end it, as you can see, as you scroll down, it actually comments out the rest of the page because this is a start comment so you got some you know comments here multiple comments and then let's uh, let's say you want to wrap it up with just that um, you do the exact reverse where you do asterisk then a forward slash and as you can see it hasn't filled it hasn't actually commented this out so we've just isolated it to that multi-line comment there so that's kind of the basics of commenting um, you know, again, important as you uh, go forward with Objective C programming and any other programming language out there. So, hopefully, that helps you. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next tutorial.